Welcome back everyone. My name is Ryan. We're here in Papua New Guinea today in Narambi. Beautiful location. I'll throw up some drone footage that I got last year. Out here with my son Chaucer. He's 11. We're just walking down the airstrip real quick before we head back to Goroka on another 20 minute flight. And we're just giving ourselves a little bit of time because it's really cloudy in Goroka. These first cones right here, that's what I was aiming for to be landing. Let's just walk up right here. Right here is where I landed, right here and there. So, I don't know, maybe 10 or so feet in front of my landing spot. But then right here, like the wheels kind of just lifted off and then touched down again up there. I don't really think that it was much more than a couple inches off the ground, but... And I can't really tell, really honestly, like, what maybe have caused that. Like it wasn't a hard landing and so, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. It was a safe landing so. Anyways, Jazzer and I are just gonna go ahead and load up and get out of here. You guys can see it back over here. They have a bunch of like uh, veggies and stuff out. They're selling, it's Friday morning so I'm guessing this is just market day for everybody. We've already unloaded all of our passengers, all of their cargo. I spent a little time out here. We're gonna go ahead and get started, head back to Goroka. And uh, hopefully, it's not gonna be too difficult to get into Goroka. Look out, catch. Okay, what's the third? We're 14% NG, we'll introduce our fuel. G's coming up over 30%. Looking at ITT, watching the trend of both of those. X97. TAS system test, okay. Thank you. Go back at 10,000 feet. Been out here for, I don't know, maybe close to an hour now, just kind of here in time and enjoying the day because it's Friday and this is the only flight of the day. Morsby 6622, November Tango Kilo Taxi. All stations in Arambi, 1207. November Tango, Tango Kilo, Kilo Morsby, go ahead. Taxi in Arambi, Garoka. November Tango Kilo Taxi in Arambi, Garoka, 2 Pubi. November Tango Kilo, confirm you're not checking. Um, uh, negative flight plan has changed just a minute to set destination Garoka. No, November 10 Kilo. November 10 Kilo, copy taxi, no reported traffic at the stage. No, November 10 Kilo. I forgot we were going to go over to Wayne to pick up some coffee today, and they were not able to get the coffee uh, ready for us to pick up. But I am taking a bunch of coffee back with me, well not a bunch, actually a very limited amount of coffee back with me to the States for you guys to try out. It's coffee that is from the Highlands that either we have or another operator or just locally or something like that. So local coffee for this area. If you guys want to try it out, I'm sure I have a link down below if I have any left. Caps and selectors are good, our controls are good. Turn off TAWS for takeoff. We are gonna be taking off at 5,300 pounds, so rotate, let's say 54 and 63. 63 if we had to come back in and 54, rotate. Flaps are set, indicated and verified at 20 degrees. Got our trim ready, full right rudder trim. This is the Kodiak 100, the very first model. People have asked, why are you doing all the way like right rudder? It's because you actually need it. It makes your life so much easier. I think they've taken care of that problem. Well, it's not really a problem, but they've taken care of that in newer ones. And if you're flying a simulator, you're not gonna experience it either. All right, flaps and radar. We don't have radar on this one or trim, our port. We're gonna be probably airborne by the, our taxi um, bay area up there where those yellow cones are. So if 
But if we're not basically 50 knots at that point, then we're going to go ahead and abort on the runway. After takeoff, we're just going to pitch lower terrain, consider PL, consider feather, cut off, pull off, and shut off. Emergencies, masters and crack my door, 80, and then 85, obviously with the master still on. All right, ignition inlet and lights are done. Our SAR is done, our search and rescue. Ignition condition, flaps 20, filling harnesses, 26 degrees out. 5,000 feet, so 1330 for 1380. Ignition condition, flaps 20, fuel on harnesses. You ready to go, bud? All right. 1330. All the kids are standing behind me, getting pop washed. 1330, here we go. Lots of back pressure initially. Once the nose is up, then we'll kind of release. Airspeed's alive, there's 40, we're continuing. There's 720 on the ITT. There's airborne by the parking bay. And it says 14 knots of wind. Look at the wind sock, it's completely dead. Yeah, we definitely do not have 14 knots of wind. All right. Now that we're over lowering train already, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. We'll go zero and bring our prop on back to 2,000 RPM for our cruise climb. And bring our ITT to 720, pitch for 100 knots, come up around these clouds and onto Garoka. Go ahead and get our departure call as we're climbing up out of here. Orsby 6622, November Tango, Kilo, departure. November Tango Kilo, go ahead. November Tango Kilo departed. Naram beyond the hour. We'll be tracking the 337 on climb 10,000. Estimating Garoka, time 25. Number Tango Kilo copied on climb 10,000. Traffic, number Charlie Alpha. Um, XN50 departed Garoka for. Number Tango Kilo, apologies. Number Charlie Alpha departed Goroka for Asinoe, time 2355. That's about 1,000 estimate Asinoe 0025. Copy November Charlie Alpha and his outbound track, please. I think I can see another runway. Uh, really? Where? What is that? Uh, that is Sambari. One second. Morsby 6622, November Tango Kilo requesting. November Charlie Alpha's outbound track, please. Tango Kilo Morphe, again. Requesting November Charlie Alpha's outbound track from Garoka. Number Tango Kilo, Roger, stand back. I'm not sure where that air location is that he uh, is going to. Another plane? That's right, another plane just left Garoka. So that means that the weather is probably actually getting a little bit better now. So let's turn our terrain awareness system back on. Zoom out here. And we'll go ahead and connect in. We're just climbing up to 10,000. The clouds look like they've actually already gone down quite a bit, even on our way out here. So that's encouraging to see. Can't really see outside at all, though, can you? Do you want me to go to the Magentas? Uh, yep, let's head over to the Magenta. And we're going up to 10,000 feet. So you can see we're at 8,800. All right, right there is a good amount. That way we can just keep going right next to these clouds and just head on this direction. I didn't even know there's clouds. Yep. It's like a video game. It is kind of like a video game, isn't it? <laughs> number Tango Kilo Morphe from Groka Tower, number Charlie Alpha, track up on 150. Tango Kilo. All right, so if for some reason we are not able to just visually get into the Groka Valley, if it's still overcast, we actually have a cloud break procedure. I did it on one of my last videos recently with Jeff. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's kind of similar set up to an approach. This is just something that Brad and I actually came up with using the PNG CASA IFR um, altitude, altitudes and distances away from mountains. So basically five miles away from mountains and we are really around below 5,000 in the valley area. Oh, we could go all the way down to a thousand feet above the ground, 
but 5,000 up to 10,000 feet terrain-wise, then we have to be um, we have to be remaining within 1,500 feet. So that's what we actually ran it off on this one, just um, giving ourselves a little bit more margin. What's up? Am I turning this way? Uh, no, just keep at the same heading up north. We'll eventually get there. We don't need to go sideways. See, well, we're coming. Do, do I need that? Uh, we're gonna go right to the north heading. There at the Zion. Yeah, right there. Perfect. All right. And yeah, it looks like we might have to climb up a little bit just because these clouds are I think a little bit higher than us. So we're going to go ahead and just climb up to 11,000. So go ahead and pull on back. Mars B 6622, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo, Morsi, go ahead. November Tango Kilo on climb amended, non standard 11,000, do build up. Now with Charlie Alpha. Oh, no, Pepper Tango Kilo. Uh, do you want me to get to the Magenta? That's right. Yep. Turn in a little bit. Oh no, just keep on the just keep on the same. We'll get there. And once we get there, then we can level off. All right. So what I was saying is, we've got this cloud break procedure. Hello, Tango Kilo. Request call number Charlie Alpha on one two zero seven. Invite him to call six six two two. Welcome over, Nicolo. November Charlie Alpha, November Charlie Alpha, 120.7, November Tango Kilo, request. November Tango Kilo, good morning buddy, November Charlie Alpha, go ahead. November Tango Kilo, um, just request from Moresby that you contact them on 6622. Currently, I am tracking inbound on the 155 radial for Garoka on climb non-standard 11,000, currently 40 miles. Number Tango Kilo, Roger, understood, down at uh, 11,000, 150 outbound for us in our one level off at uh, 190,000 for now, so that gives us a bit of room. And uh, thank you very much, I'll call Monty of 6622 now, uh, heaven and luck for. All right, thanks, have a good one, over Thank you, Lou. We're going to level up today, magenta markers. All right, sounds like a plan. A little bit. All right, back to the cloud break. Basically, what this allows us to do is just get in through if there's a cloud layer. And it allows us to get down to an altitude that usually allows you to be able to maneuver marginal VFR around the valley to be able to get in and land. Number Tango Kilo Morty, additional traffic is Delta Foxtrot, SM50. It's passing Manu for Goroka, SM50, 018, not above 9,000. It's inbound from Manu to Goroka. Inbound to Goroka from the southwest. Copy Sierra Delta Foxtrot, November Tango Kilo. All right, I just saw just two seconds ago November Charlie Alpha right around for that. Four feet Kilo Sierra. Is that November? Oh, yeah, there he is right there. So let's keep in the little magenta boxes. Um, can you have flight control? I buy have flight controls. You might be able to see him. Wait. Uh, nope, I don't see out that way. November Charlie Alpha, 1207, November Tango Kilo request. November Tango Kilo, go ahead, November Charlie Alpha. Looks like uh, we'll just be passing off to your uh, 1 o'clock at this time, about 3 miles, and just requesting appreciation of the valley in Garoka. Number Tango Kilo, resident, uh, the weather down in uh, Garoka, cloud uh, lifting up from Boca to Skated. Now it's. Uh, about the two tails in the AGL, uh, so clear, plenty of uh, uh, rooms to move in, so that's all, uh, no problem here. No, Pepper Tango Kilo, thanks. Okay, uh, he's okay, right so on. he should be right off out there, about three miles out. So it just looks... Oh, I can see him! Oh, nice. I don't see him, but... Look at that little dot! Yeah, I don't see him. Yeah, but, uh, all right. I saw him. Okay, cool. So we have three different ones. We have this Taraba, which is what we have for Whiskey Alpha. That's our uh, initial approach fix. And then Whiskey India, that's our intermediate. That's basically, the, when we do an instrument departure, leaving Garoka, that's where we go to. So basically this gets us down to a safe altitude. And then, I mean, we're still like, let's see, how far are we from the airport? Like we're still like 10, our missed approach point is still 10 miles out. So this is clearly not an approach. It's just a step down to get you into the valley. And then from there on out, you've got to figure it out on your own. Find down. 
All right, so let me just go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and set up our autopilot now so we can actually fly this cloud break because it looks like there's quite a few clouds in the pattern, or not in the pattern, but in the valley for us to get down. So this will actually be a really great opportunity for us to do this. Um, let's go ahead and bring it up. All right, I can be 10-6. I'm at 11-1-1. So let's go ahead and just start on down. At this point, got out to 10-6 by Whiskey Alpha. Once we get on there, then we'll kind of work our way in. We'll remain 10-6 until we get down over to our Whiskey India. And we'll probably break out like way sooner than that, but uh, you can at least see how we're going to do this. Was that MAF? No, that was uh, North Coast Aviation. Oh, now, now it looks fast. Yeah, doesn't it when you go into these clouds? Sure does. Yeah, especially when you're like right at the level of these clouds. It's pretty cool looking, isn't it? Looks like you're zooming through it. And that, oh, look at that! Yeah, there's even water and moisture in the clouds. All right, well, it's clear underneath. We don't really have to do this, but it's good practice to do it so that the time will be 1.7. Time you actually really need to use it, you've got it down. I'll put it up the field. I'll put it up the field. Additional is number single kilo for the year. We pass it more and be for Broca. Time on the hour. SMS Broca 0025. Tracking 337 for There was another person uh, taking off. Oh, that's Alpha November Hotel coming from Port Moresby, a bigger airplane. He's coming into Garoka. So we're just about ready to go back into these clouds. I'm going to go ahead and start up all my uh, landing checklist stuff because hey. it's going to be a little bit busy once we get down. We'll be landing 5200. Yeah. 62 knots, just a minute. And, all right, so we are six miles before our intermediate fix, Whiskey India. Three miles out, I'm going to go ahead and push the prop forward, pull my prop back, or I'm sorry, pull my torque on back to 800 foot-pound of torque. 10 degrees of flap, slow down to 110. We'll start the descent. Juliet of November. At 600 feet per minute. Down to 8,400 feet. All right, there's four miles. Just to keep myself a little bit ahead of the game, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling our power out now. Bring it on back to 800 foot-pound of torque because we are level right now. Push the prop forward. This is all slowing us down. A little bit of left rudder in there. We'll go 10 degrees of flaps. And we're gonna turn this down to 8,400 feet. Once we make our turn, we're going to go ahead and hit our vertical speed, start turning it down. Yeah, there's not magenta anymore, there's white. Number there. Tango Kilo, Morphe. November Tango Kilo, go ahead. Number Tango Kilo, traffic uh, by two feta from the hotel, Popo 100, Pate, Morphe, for Goroka, and to Goroka 0031. Additional is to the upper number, Super King, Pate, Morphe, for Goroka, and to Goroka 0041. Copy traffic by two, November Tango Kilo. All right, two airplanes coming in behind us. Hey, they're actually right behind us? Oh, they're going to be like five minutes behind us. Oh. All right, now... And number Tango Kilo, 15 miles, contact Broca Tower, 1187. Contact Tower, 15, no, number Tango Kilo. All right, here we go. Now we're turning. Let's go ahead and go 600 feet on the descent. We're speeding up to 110 knots. Broca Tower, no, number Tango Kilo. Tango Kilo, Broca Tower, go ahead. November 10 kilo, uh, one eight miles to the southeast, leaving one one thousand on descent. Your circuit two eight, copy traffic by two. Number ten kilo, uh, just confirm the traffic by two. Follow it. Julia Tosca Nova and Alpha Nova Hotel. A firm November ten kilo. Julia Nova, Wild Tower, terminate. Number 10, okay, okay, H1017. When this light is available, uh, run with 35 right for you to be on the second turn straight in. With 35 right, report on final. Uh, you'll be number one out of the enemy behind you, Alpha number 10. 1017, 
Track and report straight in, 3-5 right, number one, Nova, thank you, Lou. Basically what I'm doing is I just have my vertical speed here, that little cyan arch right there, I'm just bringing it right up to there, 8,400 feet. After that point, I mean, you can see that we could wiggle our way through here if we wanted to. After that point, we're going to go all the way down to 6,500 feet and then start tracking eventually for straight in. Another update, clouds lifting 1,500 feet, visibility good, broken clouds still to the south with many blue holes. Got it. Right, we're just slowing on down to 110 knots. We're just at 11, 111 right now. There's 8,400, we're coming up close to it. We have one minute and 14 seconds before our next one. All right, 15 seconds. We're gonna go on down to 6,500 feet now. If I would have put in my profile, these little boxes actually would have gone all the way down, but I didn't think of that at the time, so not a really big deal. And now we're going to go on down to 1,000 feet per minute so that we can get down there by that point. There we go. Opened right up, just perfect for me. I don't see the deal quite yet, but it's just around these clouds up here, so we'll just continue on. Still 10 miles out, so at this point I'm turning autopilot off. Or I'm sorry, autopilot off. Get our flaps back up. Start increasing my power to speed back up because there's no point just putzing in at 110 when we clearly see everything ahead of us. And I don't want to mess up any of these other guys coming in behind me. So this is our missed approach point, just about here in five seconds. So you can see, yeah, I mean we're still. I guess we're 6.6 .6 miles from the airstrip so or from Garoka so doesn't get you awfully close definitely not an approach but it gets you down into the the, the the heart of the valley so that you can figure out what you need to do and you can see the cloud bases were at 6900 so 6500 usually works pretty well broke tower november tango kilo three mile final three five right tango kilo three five right clear to land clear to land three five right no november tango kilo Oh, we're just slowing down. I've got 10 degrees back in. We're going to go 20 degrees now. All I have left before the checklist is flaps. I said this in other videos. If you want one of these, really awesome tool to know if you've made sure you've cleared all of your landing checklists. I'll go full flaps. Checklist is complete. Slowing on down. Absolute slow is 62 knots. We really don't need to slow down quite that much, but... All right, I'm just shooting to land kind of in between the numbers and the 500 foot marker. About eight knots fast just for my V-Ref, so I will float a little bit further than normal. Just my tiny. One zero thousand, we'll truck overhead. All right, we're continuing. Let's start bringing my power now. There we go. A low idle. Get her flaps up. This is the only flight of the day. Thanks, guys, for taking the time to watch this video with Chaucer and I. It's been a long time since he's been able to come fly with me, so this is really neat that he's able to. Like I was saying, if you'd like to pick up one of these for your flight sim or if you're a pilot yourself, I've got them for a couple different types of airplanes, so check out my website as well as these sunglasses, which have glass lenses, and man, they've done me really well. They work really well because they're not polarized, so they work well with the G1000. If you're looking for a quality pair of sunglasses, I've got gold, silver, and a couple different styles as well. And welcome here to Garoka. Just land it. Of two five right, located. If any approach, uh, we'll go off tango, uh, coach, and I'll go to Right, shut down, we'll turn off our air, our lights, everything, generator, alternator, cut off the feather. Hey guys, see you next time.